Welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Now today, well, not an unbox, just a quick toy pickup. Uh, me and the wife out and about doing some shopping over the weekend. Uh, stopped at uh, Target, stopped at a Walmart. I'm going to show you guys what we picked up today. <clears throat> now those who've been following the channel know I've been getting into Gundam builds. Or should I say getting back into them. Recently, I did the Crossbones Gundam here. Turned out amazing, and I got some uh, videos coming up. I'm going to do something a little crazy with these stands. However, I already did the uh, Barbados, and I'm going to show you guys that one right here. Oh, looks a little, little scaled down, right? So I did this one. And I saw a few of my fellow YouTubers who've done, uh, picked up the Barbados, um, it is the Barbados Lupus. So I decided to pick that one up myself. It's a little, little bit variation on the one that you guys just saw, literally. There's a few more weapons, we got some claws. A little bit more action to him. So I picked him up, $17.99 at your local Target. If you guys happen to be at Target, you see him. You want to pick them up. One of the great things about these kits is just that. There's no glue. There's no painting. You basically just need some snips. Some little cutters. It's colored plastic. You assemble it. And literally, they're their own little action figure. You can alter the pose. It's just like assembling your own action figure. And they come with their own weapons and accessories. And as you can see, this one... There's different hands on these, so you can have a closed fist or an open hand like you see right there, guys. Very cool. It's easier than your traditional model kits. If you have ever put together a car or a model airplane, it's a little bit more complicated. There's painting to be done with these, as you can see exactly what you get, guys. Now, those stands do not come with them, so I picked up uh, the Barbados Lupus, which is from the Iron Blood. Iron Blooded Orphans Gundam Saga, and I've yet to get into that one, but uh, we're going to be doing that one uh, on a future build. Don't know when. Went over to Walmart, and I really didn't have a whole lot there. I mean, your Mar Marvel Legends, all they really had were the Villains Wave, uh, a few assorted ones. Um, I'm just not psyched on the AIM Scientists. I know a lot of people are. The Army Building, that's great. You guys know I kind of have limited space here in, in the dimension, so um, I actually did something I said I wasn't going to do, but I did. I went back on my word. I'm sorry, guys. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the new Masters of the Universe cartoon coming out on Netflix, which is supposed to be kind of a sort of continuation of the original series, but it's going to have some very big differences uh, to it. Well, I went in ahead and uh, a couple of my fellow YouTubers have already been jumping on these figures. Uh, Rebels, Reptiles, and Games. He already picked up uh, a few figures. And I saw this today in store. I said, what the hell? I checked the price on them. I said, you know what? I have to. So, we got the Masters of the Universe Revelation. We got the He-Man. We're going to be doing a separate uh, unboxing this now. Looks similar to the cartoon one, but some subtle differences because this is how it's how He Man's gonna look on the Netflix cartoon. Of course, we get different hands, which is different. We get a shield, we get a sword, of course, um, and he's got a little bit of a additional gauntlet on his left arm, which looks pretty cool. Now we got a little synopsis on the back of the box here. Defender of Great uh, Castle Grayskull, protector of the planet of Eternia, and guardian of the entire universe. There is nobody stronger, faster, or braver than the mighty He-Man. He is quite simply the most powerful man in the universe, past, present, or future. A vessel of mysterious power of Grayskull, He-Man inspires the heroes of Eternia to fight the forces of evil. Without He-Man, Eternia and the universe would be doomed. Now, Awesome art, by the way, on the back. And I love that they kind of give, they kind of altered the sword a little bit to kind of give it more of a barbarian warrior kind of look. Usually we're used to the solid 
metallic look, but this one's a little bit different. It's just slightly different. On the back, we get some of the other figures that are currently in this wave. He-Man, Mossman, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. So, I'm actually pretty excited about this. I want to see where they're going with it. I've seen the trailers. <clears throat> it definitely seems to be kind of Tila-centric. I think something happens where possibly He-Man's sword is somehow separated or the powers are somehow unbinded. He's stuck as Prince Adam, so it's going to be Tila's going to be the more skilled warrior because Adam's not going to have his powers to become He-Man. At least that's what I'm taking from it. I don't know if that's true. I could be completely wrong. Hell, He-Man could get banished to another universe, or for all we know, He-Man gets killed. Who knows? Any number of things can happen, guys. What I also picked up was I got Evil Lynn. We have an alternate head for Evil Lynn, which is something pretty new and uh, awesome, actually. I really like the look of that. Some alternate hands. We can actually get two sets of hair. Uh, technically, uh, three sets if you count the hands she already has on her. She's got a little uh, shortened, abbreviated version of her little scepter. She has a little satchel bag that she can wear. And also her full scepter for battle. Very awesome look here. Let's check out the back on this one. Dark Sorceress, ever present by Skeletor's side, weaves sinister spells to assist in his quest to conquer Castle Grayskull. A dangerous foe with malicious intent, Evil Lynn is not above allying herself with the heroic warriors for her own ambition. In the untapped universal power held within Eternia, whether standing on the side of evil or the side of good, Evil Lynn is feared is to be feared but never trusted really love the look and the art on here is just tremendous and i also picked up uh well you gotta pick up skeletor not skelegod but skeletor i've seen skelegod in uh, target again very awesome art here now we get his regular skull sap scepter extra set of hands and this uh, additional sort of scepter i want to say i'm blanking on what that is it looks familiar I just gonna have to look that up. Now on here, we get for ages Skeletor ravaged the land of uh, ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture the power of the universe for himself. Now the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull with dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back. His sinister sorcerer believes this time nothing can stop him, not even He-Man. So there we go. Very cool. So we're going to be doing a separate unbox of each of these. So, um, But yeah, I scored all three. They did have Mossman. I decided to hold off on Mossman, at least for now. We'll see what happens. Um, I The only other things I've seen, really, I've seen... Uh, I've seen Battle Cat, who looks freaking massive. I don't know if I'll, if I'm gonna jump on him. I've also seen one called Skelegod. I guess it's in a possibly an evolution or enhanced version of Skeletor. Maybe he does get his hands on the power, and he evolves in some shape or form. So I mean, we're all gonna find out once Netflix releases this. So yeah, picked up these. Nineteen ninety nine a piece. Or 1998, technically. It was Walmart. So, 20 bucks a piece for these. I actually thought that was pretty good. 17.99 for the Gundam kit. Which I'm looking forward to. Who knows? I might even build this build this uh, the next week. But there we are. Uh, pretty cool, good score. I was hoping to score some Transformers. I was hoping to see uh, Ultra Magnus. Uh, not seeing him in store. And if I did find him in store, he'd probably be full price. I know uh, online, whether Target, Walmart, or even Amazon, they're all about $45. I'm just undecided on Magnus. It's the thing, it's the fact that his truck mode, he looks a little janky in the front, and he, you got his fist st sticking out the, the rear of the cab. I'm just not crazy on that. Um, so there we are, just a quick little uh, video recapping a few things I picked up today. So there we are. 
just want to thank you guys for checking out the channel as, as always hit me up in the comment section below if you liked any of these items or maybe you have some questions about these items let me know if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down let me know what's going on guys let me know your thoughts and as always, I want you to go ahead in the video description below and click on the video description. You're going to see our YouTube warriors. Those are five or six other YouTubers who I throw the links of their channels in the video description for you guys to check them out. They make amazing content. They're amazing people like you and me. They're worth checking out, guys. You won't be disappointed. So there we are. I want to thank you guys for checking out The Dimension. And until next time, keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side.